What's up, guys? This is the Brave Woman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War as <laughs> Empire Total War campaign as Venice. But in this episode, uh, we have destroyed the Dutch and we're invading the British Isles, and we are now kind of rapidly redeploying our troops. You have no money, so I'm going to hit enter. Uh, one thing I definitely do want to do is to make sure I keep um, maintaining or keep growing, sorry, my. Uh, the armies I've got that are kind of sat next to uh, Savoy, Bavaria, Württemberg. So when I order 66 of them, I can try and take them all out in one fell swoop. And then we can just push rapidly out over to the Americas and down into India. Um, but let's see what the enemy does. Ooh, I have bad feelings for that ship. Yep, yeah, there it goes. Let's see if my galley can sink anybody. Nope. Sadly not. But they were not captured. So the Brits are sending troops over towards us in Ireland. That's okay. The main thing... Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see if we can draw any of the troops that are currently sat around London northward. Just to kind of try and spread out their effort a bit. Just so that we can jump onto, um, jump onto London and try to capture it when they're not quite as ready for it. Hmm. Yeah, we need to. We do need to keep growing our navy. We, can't, we have to be careful. As soon as the Mughals come out of their holding pattern, we're in trouble. Pirates, don't care about pirates. You can raid trade lines as much as you like. Yeah, Moroccan rebels. Right, so what we're probably going to want to do is take our... Hey, don't worry about that yet. Take our... Split up our dragoons just so we can... We can give chase in another direction if we need to. Oh, we got them. Nice, okay. So all my dragoons get up to Tangier. They can take over the garrison of the city. Uh, let's upgrade both. Upgrade you to a trading port. Upgrade you to a commercial port. We have a military dockyard here. Let's upgrade that to a steam dry dock. Siamo pronti. So this army is going to push on towards Gibraltar. Are you going to let us just take it? Uh, okay, let's... Yeah, let's take Gibraltar now. While well, it should be nice and quick. Then that's our first foothold on the Iberian Peninsula. We're also pressing in from the north, and we are in the east as well. So we want to make sure that we are... Maintain that pressure in all directions, again, for the same reason as advancing on London. We want to make the Spanish spread out, well, <laughs> make your adversary spread out the stacks and stacks of troops they've got currently sat next to their capital. Because right now... Yeah, they're all camped out. The Spanish armies are all camped out near Madrid, and that's precisely where we don't necessarily want them. That foot artillery... Sit up here and bombard. Oh, it says open up however you see fit. Oh, <laughs> nearly did it. Okay, drag you guys all up to here. Okay, keep my cavalry loose. They're going to go looking for the um, skirmishers, enemy skirmishers, wherever they're hiding. Yeah, they're hiding in the town. That's run forward skirmishes advance cavalry just push up the howitzers to engage enemy infantry blocks my artillery are all the guns firing no okay let's attack ground Did that work? No. 
I'm gonna have to try and blast a way through. Yeah, because yeah, they haven't got line of sight on the guns. So I'm gonna attack ground and blast our way through these houses. Bring my general over because he's currently a bit exposed. They formed square. How cute. <laughs> guy in particular. I don't know why he caught my attention. As soon as the next quick line shell comes in, I was going to say that they're going to be in trouble, but they might already be in trouble. So you've destroyed one house. We have another house to deal with first. One here. That's the one we need to, need to knock down, but we're getting through. I mean, the demi cannons can't shoot us, so it's not a huge problem in of itself. Okay, let's speed up time actually, because if, if I'm just going to sit here and see what happens. They can be around here then somewhere. Enemy skirmishes. Okay, that's another house destroyed. Demolish this house in particular. Bombard, it looks like we've knocked out a few of the houses in the way. Nope, thought we did a bit more damage than that. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I don't go too mad as they just in case they do push down the left. We've got so many troops we can face all directions at the same time, not a problem. I'll just walk my cavalry up and around the deployment area because you have a unit of torso de terrestre guerrillas. those stakes. Let's run some cavalry up. We'll run some infantry up because right now they are. I don't want them to focus on my aha. Oh no, that was there. I don't want them to be able to focus on my cavalry, otherwise I'll just chase them around the patch and not do anything useful. the enemy general. Okay, they're all the way over here on the left. Okay, let's speed up time. Also, terrestre gorillas. Worst possible outcome. Heavily armoured cavalry charging in the rear against the skirmishers. <laughs> nice. 
But yeah, that is the, that's the capture of Gibraltar. A bit underwhelming, but it's kind of it's kind of where we're at. There's not a huge amount of enemy troops nearby. Okay, let's re build, repair the government building. Let's fortify and replenish up here. Send an agent towards the city. Send an agent to Lisbon. Send another agent over here. Let's see if we can assassinate somebody. 31%. Oh. Nearly got him. Okay, workers have rioted in France. Let's take... Okay, first of all, let's plonk this guy on top of this bridge over the river. Just in case they... If they send somebody north to try and deal with them, we can push them back quite nicely. Um... Damiano, let's keep you near Paris, just to deal with any of the pirates, any of the um, rebels that start to emerge. Okay, so I think you, we've got enough capacity on the horizon that Mr. Galvani can sail over to the Americas. Probably the same in Iceland. I'm assuming you guys can leave. You can. Excellent. Let's start. It's like the invasion of America. Because we've got lots of capacity right now. We've still got two more armies up here that, that will be... They're not needed immediately to march into Britain. But they're going to head that direction. So that in ready, in future, well, in, in a couple of turns after we've managed to kind of destroy them a bit. So this weakened force attack. Will, they, will that bring in? No, it doesn't. It's just auto that. Okay, new men cross. Don't, we're not going to cross over. We're going to get these guys to reinforce, and then we'll cross over. A lot of troops. Okay, so you can stay ready to attack Württemberg. You you are growing already. To attack, or ready to attack Munich. Marine engineers. Let's get a Swiss Pike unit because they are good fun. Uh, gorillas, blunderbush, shooters, Swiss mountain jäger. Is that the only skirmish unit we can recruit? Well, that and the gorilla mercenaries. Let's do that, and that one, that's the end of them. There's a lot of interesting units here. Probably want to make use of. Okay, can this sloop sail to the edge of the map? It can. Good, let's start laying the groundwork for our invasion of America. When we lay, lay the groundwork, three whole armies are on their way. Go, go, go! Just make sure they get safely there. Good. Okay, so you guys can hold. Let's recruit General Leonardo Strozzi. Pronti, ain't so Leonardo a is going to take one pikeman. All this La infantry. Marcha. Okay, let's start to recruit. I probably haven't run out of these heavy horse car artillery yet, but I suppose I've I've been kind of sparing with how I use them. I'm not filling up entire armies full of them. 
Okay, we've already got a pikeman. Okay, we are running out of skirmishes officially. No, not colonial line infantry. I want regular line infantry. I suppose I should really have done the construction tab because we're probably going to not upgrade things that we need to upgrade. Okay, let's do that. Ordnance board, dry dock. I mean, we've got plenty of cash. It's probably not going to be a problem. Good, good, good. Dry dock. Good upgrades, Kazan, 84%, Archangels, you're still being worked on, but we will get there with you. Gava, you're on the way anyway. Right, okay, the workers are right in the front, that's okay, path blocked, that's okay. Traits gained, ancillary gained. Region capture Gibraltar. Recruitment report, that's fine. Okay, on the east, we've got some upgrades. Moscow, upgrade the Jesuit College. Ooh, a few upgrades for Moscow. Servo vostro, signore. Excellent, so this army is done. Let's get them down to the Middle East. Fleet destroyed, I mean, yeah, it's not really a fleet, was it? So we really want these Dragoons up to Garrison Tangier, then this army can come out and also push somewhere. Push in this area against the Spanish. Sono al so is there any... yes there isn't a general in here. Let's try and assassinate yeah. them. Nope. Bad luck. Yeah, you got three full armies. So ideally we'll get them to we'll get them to push out and try and stop us. But if we can advance, we might be able to bring three of our armies to bear against them as well. So we're about to get machine rifling. That'll get us sharpshooters and riflemen. Whee. So we're not going to be out of skirmisher, recruitable skirmishes for very long. Okay, right. <laughs> you just just rashed straight across. I suppose because they were attacking me. They really want to hold on to Belfast. Edward Braddock. Six pounder, a bunch of 12 pounders. It's not a bad army, actually. I mean, not good enough. Although, my this army is the depleted army. So I might withdraw with you. Uh, I will defend this, because they're not involved. Yes, I will defend this manually. Just to deal with these two infantry units quickly, but then this army will be, will be the one to spar with Mr. Braddock rather than my depleted army. I suppose the reason they were, they were able just to run straight through our control zone was because they were you know, they were already attacking us. So it's a weak infantry unit, yes. However, you can potentially kill them without needing to lose any infantry and that is an enticing prospect Let's just keep everybody back yeah actually and more to the point I, will, I might be able to just to um 
but what I will be able to just slaughter them as they retreat. The gunners have to fire round shot. Kill a handful of mercenaries. Get my howitzers to fire round shot. Yeah, I, I imagine they attacked thinking their army would support. But when they didn't, they were a little bit screwed. Then when they get within range, quick climb time. Get all, get all my guns to aim at him. The mercenary unit. Sixty-two. Kill them. Yeah, that's a big, big screw up from the AI's perspective. Otherwise, yeah, they have just given us two, um, sacrificed two units for us just to, just to annihilate. Okay, you go for them. Awesome. Actually, I, I made coffee for myself. I better just drink some. Okay, there we go. Chase them down. Destroy them. Yeah, that's a big screw up for the enemy's perspective. Why the hell did I do that? You're going to try the same? A unit of Scottish line infantry? Let's do this. Big mistake, Buster. Big mistake. So they didn't learn after the first time their army failed to help them. Okay, something like this. Again, we're just going to do exactly the same. Hold everybody back who doesn't need to be involved. Get the cavalry spread out on either flank. Howitzers. Blast them with quick climb. Artillery blast them with shrapnel shot if they're in range, or which they are. How kind. I do love the Scottish Line Infantry model in this game is super. Still coming, they're still coming. They've lost hundred it's like not too far off half their number. Their officer still alive with their with his pike. To make it into line with us, the second and the sixty second. A lot of misses. The, the artil enemy artillery does have a penchant for aiming at the corners, the edges of your formation rather than going slap bang through the middle so if you end up attacking ground you can do some you can get better results so if i aim about here there we go see it does just tear through their formation break off you. 
Run for the hills! It's too late. Too late for that, Buster. The heavy cavalry and my general are coming after you. They smell your warmth. They want to kill you, Scotsman. Oh, brutal. There's one left. Get him! Yeah, so I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure what those um, units were planning on doing. And again, yes. Again, I'm gonna keep fighting this manually because if I auto resolved all of these, I, this army would be quite depleted by now, and I don't want that to be the case. Okay, form up. Trouble of that is, this is not as like, not as conducive to artillery fire as the last formation was, or the last position was. It can be funny, even though you haven't moved. It's like, well, you kind of moved in the local area, have we? At least we're not going to pursue them with our own cavalry this time. Everybody fire round shots. Until the howitzers feel they can, then they're going to fire. Quick climb! Then when the guns can actually see the target, shrapnel shot. Oh, they're charging! Bike man. Second horse guards. Not just any horse guards, the second horse guards. That's 20 cavalrymen. Shrapnel shots coming in. Killed, out, killed their general. Break off the attack. These fellows must be desperate. Oh, we must have lost five men to friendly fire. There we go. <laughs> Finally dealt with. I mean, those those poor devils on those ships. They must have had a real torrid time. They've spent years, years crowned on those ships. Okay, I think this is going to be the... This is going to be the where the fun begins. Rebellion in France. Yeah, to be expected... Just attack them. Just alter them. We've got plenty of plenty of time. The main thing was making sure that we had a our army in the city didn't have to come out and chase them. And we've got this Jesuit college at least that can stay a Jesuit college. Could probably build another one to the west. New town emerges. Kerch in Crimea. Construction reported. Okay. Government building. Bergen gets a commercial basin. Actually, let's get Trondheim. Iron Masters works. Oh, that was already on the list. Okay, let's get. Signore, avanti per il paese Signore. e la corona. Uomini, dragoons up. Avanti. In posizione. In attesa di ordine. Okay, if you guys leave. Rupe. Obviously they hate us, but they, they hate us a little bit less, so actually I can afford to disband these two. Mm. 
might keep them for future reference. Well, for future um, operations. We're going to cross over fully to that. Actually, some of these more chips in there. We might push them out. But before we do that, have to land these these units here. Okay, so one of you. Are we at war with the Huron? I don't think we are. Well, it depends actually. Are they allied with the or oh, allied with the Mughal Empire? Okay, we don't necessarily want to do that. Land at Moose Factory. Are the Inuits the same? Are they also allied? I didn't check. What? Okay. Pronta, pronta. Land your troops here. We have to be ready to fight a... <laughs> fight a meeting engagement with them. Okay, we can, we can make that happen. And this army, sorry, this army is going to have to do lots of the exploring. Land at St. John's. Well, attack Plaisance, and that's just going to be an auto resolve, I think. Okay, fix. Fix. Upgrade. Get rid of the church school. Upgrade the roads. Okay, yes, yeah, so this, ar this army is going to sail from Newfoundland all the way down to Cayenne and then just start working on all of these. So we've dealt with all of the fleets have arrived. Recruitment's ongoing, but I'm not bothered with any one particular recruitment. Dominico. Oh no, they intercepted us. Whatever will we do? Kill them. That's what we will do. Mr. Braddock. Let's get ready and set up. But this force, well, hope we've got, ultimately we've got two armies up here. It might take a bit of time for them to be replenished and ready to actually advance into or onto the British Isles, but we do have additional troops coming up as a reserve. Rain. Whatever whatever the rain does, it just ruins the sound. Okay, how it says ready. So we want to stay on the defensive for a while. Until they until they over, eventually overextend themselves. They have plenty of artillery. So our artillery is probably going to be doing either a bit of counter battery work or we're going to wait until they're. You're far too close. Okay, your howitzers are going to start quick climbing some of these gun teams to try and knock out their crews. Although those didn't kill anybody. But if the British are going to, they want to sit back in a blob, then we will take the fight to them. Start to quick climb some of their 
better units in that instance. These troops, okay, right, I might start specifically deploying some of these and some of these gaps. These three push up to about here on your own. Cavalry advance on the right. And it is run. Cavalry push up. I mean, just, yeah, just, just engage their, their line. Well, the lances are charging. General's bodyguard is in range. Engage them with musketry. Weren't lucky. Engage that unit, Cassier. You engage. Just keep engaging this force artillery. I mean, my howitzers have to fire a round shot because things are soon. Things are marching out of range. Okay, comes the first horse guards. They saw what we did to the second, and now they're back. Okay, they're marching along our front. Cavalry engage the blunderbuss shotgunners. Third horse guards and the first horse guards. Okay, these units can push the left flank. Pick new targets. You go for the light horse, you go for the cursier howitzers. Fusiliers, Marines. Yeah, they did not make it. My regiment of horse won't be able to help them out of that either. Yeah, let's push you guys up into the woods because you can start engaging the, the end of their line. Come on, Marines, just hold your square. Just, yeah, they say they're winning, but they've lost a good good amount of their strength. Haven't committed my cavalry yet, so that should be okay. Get some of my foot artillery to support my troops on the flank. It looks like we are going to convince them. Fighting on fighting us in the centre is a bad idea. Let's push up with a bit more aggression. Just because they are broken, they aren't dead. So all our firepower is being concentrated into one infantry unit. Charge that unit of fusiliers. And they wheeled off at the last minute. Bring up pikemen. You collided with our line, that's not a huge deal. They push forward into the trees. Pikemen are up, ready to do the business. Bring up our marines. That's which one of infantry advantage here. There you go, Lancer Guards are going to be in trouble.
cleared them out. They are shattered. The guards are still here. Yeah, those fusiliers are dead. Yeah, chase them down. Garcia going in for my regiment force. That's not great. Some Cressier hit this ready with a horse. Kind of dropping to square. Okay, howitzers start engaging these units. Port artillery keep engaging the left flank. Grenadier guards. You might actually go in and help the infantry while you can. Regiment of Horse push into the trees to support the Cursier. Draw the Scots into melee combat. Artillery still slamming in home. The British Cursier. Oh, they were wavering for a minute there. Pull my cavalry out. We don't want to be engaged in a line action. We don't want to engage in a melee action against the Scottish line infantry. So you men pull back. These British troops are holding their own. We can knock out this Cuissier unit. The 63rd can be committed most advantageously on the flank. No, you damn fool. Get out of the way. Scottish line infantry is being engaged by other units. Finally got them down to less than 20 men and they started to realise this is a bad idea. Just to see if we can get them shattered. There we go. Excellent. Alright, get on the flank of here and start opening up. One horse artillery crewman. Deal with them. Artillery crew because they've decided to come back. Try to hit the Scottish line now in the flank. Everybody's opening up well. When the 63rd get in, that's going to really be the death knell of the 108th. so they did actually pivot. Regiment of Horse, pursue and destroy that unit. You attack the Swiss Guards, you attack the Scottish Line. My general that's been all the way at the back of the map for a while. March forward, capture the ground. Chase them down.
slaughter them. We thought you were fighting such a fine engagement. Alas, it was not to be. Foot artillery crews can come back. Okay, right. General, we should go this way. Chase down the Grenadier Guards. Got a reasonable number of cavalry here that can chase down these enemies. Okay, go chase down that unit of line. You need to get over here and chase down those troops retreating towards our line. You need to go after that go after that foot artillery unit wherever it is. Well you're gonna try go for the grenadier guards up here. Come get this Swiss infantry unit. Excellent. You also come after this Swiss infantry. They're really well spread out, so may have a very low chance, low probability that we'll actually get to kill them. You might I don't think you did kill them. Still, that's a really good win. That force has been gutted. 600, nearly 600 lost for 2,237 Brits. Possiamo, then this force can come in and just go. Gotcha. Avanti. Another one of those, please. Although we are going to cross over into Scottish territory. So Dublin, recruit mercenaries. A dry dock can repair. Cool. That's put them under threat somewhat. Okay, let's build some more ships for this fleet. Let's see if we can get eyes on. Okay, they do have a ship in Newcastle. Okay, what I think we want to do. Let's provide a bit of a dilemma. See if we can land Mr. Bruno in the Highlands. Or the Lowlands. I can't remember which way around it is. I mean, yeah, we can... Here is fine. Even though there's an army right here, we can get ready for a scrap immediately. George Way, very good army, no artillery. Get you into Glasgow. Okay, yeah, that's that's it. In Lobo, as far as we can see on the west coast. Yeah, on the west coast, looks like Dublin's going to be ready to fall. Let's probably... I don't need to worry about main keeping movement points by moving them through ports because there aren't there isn't any really any good way to do it. Just land them off the coast here. Then you probably can just get aboard ship and also go to America. I don't think we'll need that extra firepower. So do this ship, get the Malmo. We do have extra troops that can do stuff. Like these guys that are aboard ship could be deployed somewhere and actually be used against us. So it's not 
in of itself it's not a it's a done deal this force Ludovico Castro let's maybe use you to attack this fragment of an army just tidy up some of the stragglers around the periphery of Spain and then we can start to creep people towards the city itself Ooh, we got a hill to take. Quick climb is order of the day. Four brigade of four units up front. Detachment on the right. Detachment on the left. There we go. Cavalry set up. More cavalry on the right. General in the center, artillery is going to try and be dr dragged up the hill. We have to run uphill, so otherwise, we're just going to be stuck down there. Engage. A unit of fusiliers and a unit of grenadiers. Mind if my native native African infantry pushes in for the attack? Because it looks like on the right flank we're going to get exactly what we want. Over hussars. Well, looks like the hussars are already. Okay, my colonial light cavalry pursue them. Enemy lines getting set up. There you go. Looks like we're, we're going to get to whip around the flanks. Artillery, focus on the Spanish bandits because that's the enemy general unit. Fifth Grenadier Regiment. They do look great. <laughs> Hussars being chopped up. Yeah, there go the enemy grenadiers. Kill them. Spanish bandits have advanced to point blank range. Boy, a pistol shot against the regiment of foot. It's the end of them. Okay, howitzers engage. Second regiment of foot that is withdrawing in good order. Probably not good enough order. Okay, 
Okay, you just kill the grenadiers. Oh, these guys are waiting for one man. Hopefully he doesn't get shot. <laughs> kill the engineers. Grenadiers are going down. See if we can shatter the infantry regiment with a charge in the rear, cease fire the artillery, just to make sure. Boop! Yeah, they didn't like that. Oh yeah, I'm going to continue. Send you after those fusiliers. Killing. Good. All troops that Spain can't bring to bear to protect their precious city. It's a big block of line. This cavalry unit might be able to mop up some of the stragglers en route. Although, to be fair, it's this one I want to focus on, because these guys are against Fusiliers. They are by far the juiciest target. Nice. Okay, you guys. Okay, everybody attack this unit of infantry. A couple of guys left. Nice. Got him! Okay, that was a bit more of a, a bit more of a uh, messy fight than I would have liked, but you know, not bad. Yeah, yeah, there's another Spanish, full Spanish army. Okay, you're gonna hold here and replenish. Same with you. You're gonna stay here, up here, and provoke the Spanish. We've landed in Britain. Everything else is. Ticking along nicely. Okay. So what you really need is cavalry. So let's get some heavy cavalry and some carabino. Nice. Right. You're going down to this force. One second. Apologies, I paused. I muted my microphone to try and uh, sneeze in private, but uh, what ended up happening was the game kind of just freaked out. Um, but yeah, by the looks of it, we've done everything that we can really can do in this turn. We've got plenty of money left over. So that means we just have to keep recruiting. So let's get... So in Venice we can recruit. Marines, we've got some Marines, we've got one, one unit of Marines. Three, six... Let's get one more unit of Marines and then a bunch of line infantry. And this is one of the armies that can be used to square off against. Italian states, we've done all this. Belgrade is on its way to being fully Catholic. Okay, so great anchor is production capability. Good, okay. Upgrade production in the Middle East. Pronti. Signore. In marcia. Avanti. OK. 
Okay, you probably might have to recruit a bunch of standard Middle East armies. Because like you're effectively that's you just get them. Well, not necessarily all of them, all of them, but one. Okay, start to cover some of these defensive positions. Okay, you've got. Okay, you need two of those. One of those, and then a bunch of infantry. So start to just cover some of these bridges. Or ultimately, just forward deploy them towards the likely trouble spot. So you're going to be able to cover the coast. A couple of armies are going to push towards us for hand from the west. Okay, horse artillery in here. So one of our armies, okay, you, you position on the road to towards Esfahan. You, Mr. Buffon, position yourself ready to attack Ardabil. So we've got, the, we've got the best roads, it just takes a lot of time. Apart from that, I think what we can do is take Mr. Sabatini, send one unit of light cavalry out, and force the Spanish fleet out of Cadiz to make battle against us. But looking at the time, I, th I guess, I think, from memory, it's probably the end of the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of the Spanish Armada. Cheers, everyone.